Blood, everyone. I'm Fresh and Glad, and today we're out uh, on Higgin Beach in Hawaii, taking out the boat paddleboard. I have a review coming up of another paddleboard, South Bay Board Company, Zephyr. It's kind of a do it all paddleboard, but today we just kind of wanted to get out and get a lay of the land and kind of see what we can uh, see. We do have the uh, fishing rods with us, so we're going to see what we can get into. It's just some lures. We don't have any live bait or anything. Again, this is our first comp foray out into this uh, area. Huh? Are you seeing any fish? Uh, uh, well, we don't want to catch jellyfish. There's a fish right there, right on the edge of the dark, right in front of you. One o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. No, no, no. Right in front. Stop turning. Well, okay. You're twelve. Oh. I don't see it. All right, now it's at eleven. And ten. It's, it's swimming. Well, this boat board, it's the uh, bug slinger. I'll put which one it is down into the description but it's a it's a very stable board it's a bit heavy and i think we're going to just blow them up and keep them blown up because i have a pump on my truck which we brought the jeep we didn't bring the ram but it is uh surprisingly takes longer to, to fill it up that way than it does and that's the dual compressor arb but filling up two of them is uh uh, definitely a workout. Well, this is hard here, too. Walk over here some. Yeah, this is all super hard. Are you hungry or anything? Yeah. All right. Well, let me grab. Yeah, that's why I say that's why I grabbed the chair so we could just stop and. Oh. Is that the uh, plane making that noise? No, I think it's that plane. He's taking off. This is a pretty cool view, you know. Mm -hmm. Diamond Head, Honolulu, the airport. Big boy, <laughs> go a little faster than that. There he goes. Oh, wow, looks like it was going so slow. Yeah, wow, <clears throat> it's just the sheer, aircraft. yeah, I'm gonna say it's just the sheer size. Yeah, I know. I had that thought, but then I was like, well, you wanted to take the Jeep, so. I mean, I, also, I mean, I just wanted to also make sure everyone would fit in the Jeep if we wanted to take it, and so, you know, at least we know that. There it is, an old uh, World War II bunker. What's left of it anyways, I guess. It used to probably have sidewalls up top. So it's been out here since uh, the 40s. I don't know if it's anti-aircraft guns or just an overwatch position of some sort or 
or what exactly, but it was to kind of keep an eye on uh, on Pearl Harbor here. Maybe watching for submarines or something. I mean, just anything, I guess. So it was built. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's uh, it's been out here since the '40s. And you see, it follows the mouth of the harbor. Because you see, the other one is right straight over there, what's left of it. And that's kind of the route you would take to get into Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Make, uh, keep your distance from it. You gotta stay at least 30 meters from it. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them out there. So we can't get any closer than this. But uh, hopefully, hopefully the camera's picking them up. Oh, it saw us. It's diving. It saw us and dove. But we can't get any closer. And this would be an area where uh, you know I kind of come check out with a snorkel, but. Again, I still have a slight fear of the open ocean, and I'm working on that. If I'm up here, like on the paddleboard, I'm great. It's when I get down into the water that I start having issues. So I guess my, I guess what I should say is I have a, I don't have a fear of the open ocean. I have a fear of the ocean being underwater in the open ocean. There's another one. And Pearl Harbor is right in front of us here. The entrance anyway, you really can't see most of it. But... And all I'm doing is just fighting this, uh, this wind. Let me get past this rock here and I'll see if I can put it in. Oh, it may work. I can get away from these dang rocks. Oh. Trying to get the sand spike to work. Trying to get it in. I keep getting blown into these rocks. Oh. Try this again. No, I'm, I'm just being dragged. I can't get, I can't get a good, uh, I can't get it in. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not shallow enough. Or not shallow enough, I mean, it's shallow enough, it's not uh, soft enough. I can't get deep enough in there. So it just drags it. Damn you. The wind's pushing me hard. Well then turn sideways. Yeah, well, too late now. <laughs> I don't want to have to paddle back. Nice little setup you guys got. Oh, thank you. It's a, uh, we got out in that wind though and it's, it's a workout. Yeah. <laughs> well, the wind's picked up. I think there's a small little storm coming in. So we booked it in uh, closer to uh, shore here. Problem here is if we're getting too shallow, we're probably gonna bottom out. Yeah, I'm already kind of tapping. Turn the bottom out. Yeah. So the best place to drag it from is the back. Oh my goodness, this is so. Man, this is super, super slick.
and I'll get on the beach. Whew. Well, yeah, I wish I could have done some fishing, but I mean, it just, you know, just wasn't the, uh, wasn't the day for it. It's just a small little adventure, nothing fancy. Got to take the paddle boards out, kind of get out and uh, enjoy the day. Winds were a little more stronger than we anticipated, but I, honestly, we didn't check the weather before we came out here. So, didn't really get to do any fishing, but uh, I'm still learning the fishing scene in Hawaii. It's completely different. I'm, used, I'm a freshwater fisherman and the saltwater is something new to me. And most of them just throw a line out and let it sit there with live bait on it. And I really don't want to do that. So I'll keep kind of tinkering around and playing with it. So uh, hopefully in the next uh, couple of days, I'll get out and do a review of the South Bay Beach Company uh, Zephyr paddleboard. It's a decent little paddleboard. Uh, I picked it up in person in uh, Los Angeles and so I got some footage from that so that'll be probably on the next video I put out. Thanks for watching and remember to get outside and enjoy the outdoors.